Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early, and for many reasons, I think we can, can expect to respect the pump on Bitcoin. <clears throat> and I do think if investors kind of take a look back over the next three years for Bitcoin, what's the narrative? You got two major drivers for Bitcoin's price. Uh, the new ETF, which should or should not get approved very soon. And the Bitcoin having coming up April next year, which means a decreased supply of Bitcoin in the open market. And as I do imagine a lot of new demand coming in with the popularity of Bitcoin. I mean, when I used to first talk to people about Bitcoin, they'd ask me, can you mail me a Bitcoin? And um, here we are today. Anyways, I thought it'd be a good idea to take a look at the Renko chart alongside the FIB target and some volatility expansion on the daily time frame. So um, what you're going to see here is basically colored candles and red candles. So essentially, if it's a red candle, any of the colored candles are going to remain red until uh, you get a bit of a change in color, green or red, green to the upside, red to the downside. That's a stopping volume candle on both sides pretty interesting consolidation W formation. Looks like we're going to tap that 382 pretty quick. Um, additionally, I think this is a good way to, you know, watch the momentum as volatility expands here on the daily after resetting and uh, doing it to the upside. So you could, you know, potentially get another 20% off of that. Where's that going to take you? 20%. Up to the not 0.5 so that's the midway point and i definitely think uh that's in the cards coming in at 41 629 um additionally if we reject here at the 382 you come all the way back down to the 786 but that's for a weak bounce a strong bounce gets you up to the not 0.5 or the 618 anyways just wanted to bring a new look on the chart there um macro time frame you can see we're, you know, continuing on. That was a, that's a very bi bullish candlestick uh, with pretty much the highest volume we've seen. So that's, you know, immediate continuation on the weekly time frame uh, for Bitcoin. And another thing I thought we should take a look at here is uh, what exactly did happen when the gold ETF launched GLD. It went from call it $400 to almost 2000 an ounce. That's 359%. And what's funny, I was thinking about it is, you know, the gold bugs out there really do believe that, um, that, <clears throat> and I'm going to pull gold up actually that, uh, you know, it's like, Oh, who, how do they audit the reserves on, on gold? Right. You really trust the Fed has so much gold or such and such bank has so much gold. I mean, unless you've seen it with your own eyes. I mean, I don't know if I, I, I believe it. Um, anyways, as we've been saying, going to take a major catastrophe to break through 2000 an ounce again. I uh, don't think that's happening right now as the stock market is going up. I'm going to put my regular chart back on. Regular chart here back on NASDAQ. And I said I would give myself a, just a few minutes to get this done today, but it looks like continuation, um, you know, to the top side of the trend line, a deviation below. And now, you know, they're taking all the shorts out here and the longs out here. And well, short term upside, it looks like for uh, NASDAQ. And I had the Gaussian channel up. I think it's a good time to revisit the good old Gaussian channel on the weekly time frame. I'm just putting it up here on BLX. And as we uh, established earlier this year, as soon as we broke above the mean band um, and broke back above it, this flips green. That is your sign. I mean, never in history has Bitcoin not made a new all-time high after uh, doing that. So again, what what is the signal on the weekly time frame of the Gaussian channel? I'll show you back to the start here. Um, and this is just so you know, this next bull market, this is why you want to be paying attention to um, on the weekly time frame. This turns red, 
price action, you know, bundle below it, breaks above the mean band, hits the top band, breaks above that, there's your signal. Okay, new all time highs. And from that higher low to the next high, 1500%. Not bad, same thing here, breaks the mean band, comes up, breaks above the top side of the 200 band and sign of the new bull market. So that's one, two times, and that was a 4,500% gain. And then the third time we break above the mean band, put in a higher low, and yes, we did have the COVID dump, kind of a uh, black swan event, Still never broke the previous weekly higher low. Uh, that's right there. So still going to count that one uh, from there to there. 800%. So as you can see, you know, the law of diminishing returns plays out. And just, you know, quick, if we took uh, half of that, 400%. Doesn't put Bitcoin as high. But just playing around with some numbers today, 200% is right there. 400% would be, so that's at the $48,000 target. That is the 618. But uh, 400% would get us back to 7950. So making new all-time highs, I don't think uh, is out of the cards as the last rally. And I drew it. Oh, that, that should be from the top side, excuse me. So 800%, not from the lows. Excuse me, 400%. Would pick, would, would put Bitcoin at 142, 142. If kind of the law of diminishing returns continues on uh, for this cycle. Wow, that'd be, that'd be a pretty massive move probably not going to happen over the next six months but um we're looking a little more realistic here and it's hard to tell the future right look how long this run took 50 months uh from the breakout to the all-time high that was actually 128 weeks so <clears throat> 128 divided by five that was uh 25 months or about two years uh, time span and a lot can happen in two years and a lot's happened over the past couple of days and I still got a few minutes left so I'm going to try and wrap up this video really quick what else is notable uh, let's see daily volatility expansion this is what I want I'm going to mention injective in just a moment and uh, just bring it up because I and J BTC. INJ, not ING. So this is injective price in Bitcoin uh, just over the last year. And this means it's been uh, outperforming Bitcoin substantially. What is this highly esteemed internet piece of technology? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but if trend continuation over the last 53 days, well, it's up 840%. Let me do the math again. Hold on. From the low, July 2022, it bottomed out. Funny, Bitcoin had a peak right there. And that was... 846% over 475 days. So over the last year, yeah. Uh, a little over a year there. Trend might continue. Not, uh, not promising it will. Certainly not promising that. But one, two, are we in the phase of the final markup for injective? Very well could be. Um, yep next up uh, next or or just a whole new markup phase as this may be making new all-time highs i don't think it is as yeah anyways uh that's in the eth bitcoin pairing okay not making new all-time highs but uni is uh 
Another one I've been keeping an eye on. Let's check in on XRP coming into the event. Had a bit of a pullback. Grabbing that liquidity uh, perhaps uh, for today, Tuesday, um, which is typically going to be an up day for crypto in general. And after the massive volume that did come in on that last daily candle, I wouldn't be surprised to see one more push higher uh, for XRP going into the event tomorrow. But hey, maybe it was by the rumor, sell the news. Not my typical bag of tea. <clears throat> and let's see, uh, Arbitrum uh, looks like it is hanging on to that purple 200. As long as it does hold on to that, uh, I could <laughs> it expect it to do what a lot of these you know altcoins have done. Once they regain the purple 200 exponential, the internet's running slow here. Nice and slow. Let's see if we can speed it up. Regains a purple 200 simple uh, small back test. That, that you know, is kind of what we're looking at. Big time gaming coin. Uh, just getting, sl just consolidating here on the lows. Uh, still has a potential W formation. Uh, polka dot uh, just pretty much breaking its long-term downtrend on the daily, making higher highs and higher lows. Uh, Doggy coin also pulling a ripple right there. Does like to have these massive, you know, drives up and then splurts back down, but uh, perhaps this is gonna be a leg up for Mr. Doggy. And then another big, uh, big one, looks like it is pulling back finally, maybe, uh, Rune. Short-term pullback, as long as we're above that wick, it's okay, um, you know, in the shorter term. But if it does get below there, quick move down. Um, did I want to cover the dollar reclaiming the range? This is what we talked about last week. There is a gap up here, a small little gap. Let's see. Uh, it looks like it's going to go for the fill, which um, be interesting to see with the stock market and what Bitcoin does does during that time because remember all the you know the patterns the statistics were in favor of nasdaq and bitcoin having a correlation they just got decorrelated a lot of people are asking well is it finally decorrelating uh, i i don't i'm not ready to believe it yet um but yeah we should um, be following a close eye on that one as well anyways i think i brought up enough eth um Excuse me. Oh, looks like time is up here. So ETH Bitcoin uh, reclaiming the 21 on the daily time frame. Uh, we talked about this box of peace and prosperity above here. Uh, good for Ethereum. Uh, below here, bad for Ethereum. So kind of waiting for that higher low. Is, is this a W? Um, that is the question. And if it is, uh, I would assume the trend to continue with Ethereum Pulling up to 1900 bucks here yesterday. Uh, very, very good, Mr. Ethereum. Good, good job. Good, get your, your rowers in the saddle. Ethereum looks like it could potentially want to break out of this massive ascending triangle. If it does get above this region at about 2000 bucks, let's see. Hmm. Is that 2000? That's 1900. I mean, you might be able to call it there. Uh, yeah, you know, above there, high, low, above there. And Ethereum, you know, you got this massive, like I said, ascending triangle. Higher lows, technically more likely to break out uh, to the upside. With almost a bit of a deviation. I wonder if it matters if you put it on log scale. I personally don't love log scale but uh measure move a breakout for ethereum is gonna be a bit higher and i think actually you could extend this back here just eyeballing this right now but uh measures from the 50 percent up to about three thirty three eight which is this prior peak over here i imagine you know if there's uh, we're still low liquidity in the market. So for them to push it a bit higher, 
it's going to get harder right now. It's still pretty easy. You know, Ethereum at 1900 bucks, the all time high. Remember for Ethereum was 4,900, give or take a few bucks. So uh, definitely has more to go to the upside in terms of percentage gain, 160% versus Bitcoin for it to get to its all time high now is going to be uh, 125%. So still that's measuring from the breakout. So from where we're at right now, uh, that's going to be 98% versus Ethereum, which would be yeah, 150%. So something to consider as well. Um, checking in on Chainlink. Again, this one just continuing with the move. Um, in a similar place as Injective, uh, you can see the chart almost looks the same, you know, except for this one had a long-term consolidation, Chainlink. Uh, kind of leading the world in uh, real-world assets. Um putting them on the blockchain, supposedly working with SwiftBank, I hear now. Um, should have some more details to come, but uh, really quick looking at that, that next target coming in at 16 bucks, uh, Parabola blow off. Probably going to take the wick to wick on that, but uh, to be a little more conservative, you know, using this low here and this high here, yeah, definitely has the potential for more as volatility expands and uh, momentum will cross down today uh, below 90 at, uh, and that's a 90 read to the right here, and up above 1284 so kind of right in the middle of the sand there and uh yep i think that's gonna be it for me today guys if you did enjoy make sure you smash the like button and i will be back with another one tomorrow sorry i didn't get them out the past couple of days i made a video every day just had some technical difficulties all right look forward to seeing you guys soon and i will sign out